All right, so we're going to split this into radical 18, radical x to the fifth. Remember, if there's no number in front of the radical, it has an imaginary two value. Not imaginary, it has a two value. All right, so I'm doing uh, square root of 18. Okay, I'm going to play around with my factors. I'm going to get radical 9, radical 2, which is going to give me 3 radical 2 right there. All right, so 3 radical 2. Over here, I'm going to turn this into x to the 5 halves, which is x to the 2 and 1 half, which is x squared and x to the 1 half, all right, which is x squared in front, and then radical x first. And I can have a 2 here, and I can have a 1 here, but neither one is required. All right, so I'm going to leave it just like that. Then I put these together into a single thing. I get 3x squared, I've got the 3 in front, the x squared in front, and then underneath the radical, I have a 2 and an x. So I have a 2x underneath the radical. All right, so take it apart, simplify each piece, put it back together.